Hey guys, welcome back to the Telecom Talk Show. And today we have with us Mr. Arvind Bali, the CEO of uh, Telecom Sector Skill Council, and he'll brief us about uh, what's been happening in India as in terms of how the labor force is skilling up uh, for the telecom sector. So, Mr. Bali, my first question to you is: uh, uh, What is TSSC's main focus going to be in 2022 in regards to telecom sector? So, uh, as you know about Telecom Sector Skill Council, uh, we are skilling youth basically in the skill for telecom sector, and telecom sector is a very very vast sector. So, a lot of uh, things are happening around uh, our mm -hmm. sector. So, one you know you are hearing about five G, and then mm -hmm. you know like a lot of related work on IoT and machine learning. You know, industry four point oh around that. You know, a lot of lot of activities, a lot of work is happening. Plus, you know, government has come out with this new education policy to 2020. In that, also there is a lot of focus on skill for students, and um, so there are various verticals on which we are working. Uh, but you know, our focus definitely first focus is that we have to make a better life for all the youth. That means we have to mentor them, we have to guide them, we have to make their careers uh, at whatsoever level they are. You know, we have to uplift them. Right, yeah. and we do it to scaling, rescaling, upscaling. You know all all those things we do. So when I say specifically in 2022, uh, we are coming out with a lot of new center of excellence, uh, advanced labs, basically on all new technologies. Number two, what we are focusing on uh, colleges and schools, where we are uh, increasing our connectivity. And third area is that. We are going to use a lot of CSR funds because yeah. uh, we would rather like to use those funds to skill the youth. That is another big focus area we have got. And fourth, okay. and the last is that mm -hmm. India is a big, uh, uh, big, uh, you know, biggest potential is uh, for skilling youth in India and ultimately place them abroad. Yeah. Because there are a lot of places where, uh, you know, young people are required be it yeah. in Japan or in Europe. So we are scaling youth here and we are also mm -hmm. setting up international uh, arrangements, certifications, mm -hmm. placement, etc. So that is another okay. focus area. So uh, Mr. Bali, how are you evaluating your training programs and training offerings? Uh, because, you know, uh, new age technologies are coming over and uh, 5G rollout is going to happen soon. E even with the smartphone sector, a lot of things that are happening. So, so the requirement of uh, skilled uh, labor would be very high. So how are you evaluating your offerings? So we are actually in touch with the industry. One is, you know, we are coming out with a uh, report. Uh, there is actually telecom is now overlapping with a lot of other industries. Yeah. Uh, telecom, you know, especially with 5G, actually you will be needing uh, connectivity in auto oils. You yeah. are hearing of connected devices. Then, you know, there are needs for agriculture. There's a lot of need for drone technology. There also telecom is there. So multiple sectors are there. And, and 5G technology is basically coming so that, you know, all this becomes reality and you actually are able to use these technologies for actual purpose and use. So we are actually trying to cover all these aspects. One is, you know, like existing operators, or tower companies or fiber companies, whatsoever rollouts they are having, in those rollouts we are playing a role. And over and above that, also skilling youth in future technologies. And we are working very, very closely with other skill concepts like IT, electronics, and health. Like telehealth is going to be a big thing. Tele automobile will be a big thing. So all those areas we'll be working on. Uh, so, Mr. Bali, in the pandemic time, you know, technology-led uh, education has given a whole new meaning to delivering skill sets. So, how is TSSC looking at the use of technology in the skilling for future? Yeah, it's a very good uh, point, very good question, because I personally believe, and uh, actually 5G is going to play a very big role, 4G is also helping. Uh -huh. uh, education... If you, if you recall and if you remember, you know, a few decades back, there used to be a big difference between a youth who was studying in metros versus who was studying in tier two towns and tier three and tier four towns. Definitely there was a big gap because yeah. quality of education was varying. Now with online, I think that 
variance will go away. I personally believe that, you know, opportunity with uh, tier three, tier four town will be growing up like anything because, you know, mm. hunger, the youths are more hungry over there for their career and prospect. And, and they have got all the same knowledge, all the same skill, all the same teacher through uh, basically uh, digital content that they can become very, very uh, at par with them. Mm. It will be a big leveler. Like it'll level, uh, and and also you know youth from those places will get a big advantage. So as a TSSC, uh, we are playing a specific role because what we are trying to do is we are trying to reach out to the youth who are either school dropout or college dropout, and those youth in the past they were not able to access a lot of content because they didn't have computers, but yeah. smartphone percentage or concentration is very rapidly changing and especially I think youth the first thing they want is a smartphone so most of them have got smartphone even in rural areas villages etc so what we are trying to do is we are trying to develop a lot of content which will be available on handheld devices you know reading requirement is very different or content requirements are very different in handheld device versus you know on computer so we are working on that Another thing which we are doing is we are also working on a job portal. We have got telco job portal. So yeah. normally, you know, like for engineers and above, you have Nokri.com or monster.com. But here, uh, you know, we'll be giving all this on handheld device and telco job. And then youth can register themselves and there'll be jobs available. And then we'll be supporting on that. So all that work is happening in telecom sector skill concept. Okay. Uh, so, sir, what are some of the big innovations that, you know, we can expect in scaling telecom workforce in the year 2022? What are the big innovations? So, I think the, the biggest thing will be, um, which, you know, is a project on which we're working, okay. is on using AR VR technology for scaling. Augmented okay. reality or virtual reality, you know, we should right. use it for scaling purpose. Uh, yeah. If you can visualize, you know, like today, if you have to scale a youth uh, on tower technician job, you know, like uh, it is not very practical to just let them climb a 30 meter high yeah. tower to see yeah. how the antenna is aligned and all that stuff. And also he doesn't have any uh, real experience or feel. How does it really feel over there? With virtual reality, you know, like at least... 80-90% of the work, you can teach him through virtual reality. So that will be, in my opinion, a very, very big thing. And also, uh, all these new labs that we are creating will be something which youth will be actually using to learn new, new things. Because we are, say for example, we have created an IoT lab. Now in that IoT lab, you can add on modules if you want to do some research related to soil, or humidity, or water, or you know, traffic management, or any any such thing. You know, you can keep adding modules, and you can do that. So, students in colleges, engineering colleges, or even workers can be trained in those labs. So, that is another thing we, we are doing. Plus, yeah. content-wise, you know, we are trying to bring a lot of content through videos, content through digital media, and learning. We are doing. And last point, I think even government is uh, working a lot on e-learning, uh, learning through digital media. So um, virtual classrooms will be something, you know, which is a reality. We are setting up a virtual classroom in NIT Patna very soon. And same way, many okay. more will be coming. So not only the local students will learn from that, and that the same content can reach out to people who are not able to come to the classroom. So that is another thing which we'll be using as innovation in the coming time. So, so, Mr. Bali, like, uh, how would you evaluate or what would you say that uh, TSSC, what kind of impact that TSSC has had on the Indian telecom sector so far, like in the number of uh, skilled labor force that it has produced, more so like that? So, we have already trained more than 10 lakh youth in okay. different disciplines of uh, telecom. And a lot of those youths have been absorbed in different industries. And a lot of them has been uh, like we are entrepreneurs now. And we are coming out with a lot of new programs. Like, for example, a uh, very, very small thing. Every, there are six, more than six like villages in this country. 
And actually, each village needs at least two techni- technicians who can handle handset. Yeah. Because, you know, when your handset is down, I think it is very difficult to really manage things. So every village will be needing those technicians. So we will be training those technicians and they are, they'll be the ones, you know, who will be working. Same way, now, you know, Pradhan Mantri Modi has really announced that, you know, we have to reach more and more rural. And, you know, when fiber reaches to villages, panchayat level or village houses, then need for support, technical support increases. Need yeah. for selling that equipment increases. So mm-hmm. for all that, you know, we have to skill the local youth. And that yeah. is a job or part which will be pay, uh, playing. Same way, you know, uh, satellite is going to be used in a big way for telephony, right? So right. there also, we are coming out with new curriculums and we'll be teaching that. So there's a lot of work happening. So <laughs> it's a very, very exciting year for us. Okay, thank you, Mr. Wali. I guess that will be all from my side. Thank you for joining us today and giving us your precious time. Uh, hope yes. you're uh, safe and sound. No, always, I think always a pleasure to interact with uh, your organization and thank you very much for inviting okay. me. Thank you for tuning yeah. in guys. Uh, keep watching Telecom Talk Show and we'll keep coming up with more such videos in the future.